Simon. 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 Hi, uh, yeah, no, sorry. I was just uh, making sure the data was all in order. Simon, go take a break and get something to eat, man. You've been in front of that computer screen your entire shift. Uh, it's, it, it's okay. I, uh, I have a lot of work to do anyway, so, but I already had something to eat. When? Like an hour ago. Oh, you mean the peanuts? <laughs> okay, Simon. Anyway, listen, I got some good news for you. I'm bringing in a new employee who you'll be training for the next week. Do I have to train him? Well, you are a senior and only data entry clerk. Come on, Simon, it won't be that bad. He's being transferred from one of our branches in Scarborough. Okay, listen. I know you've been doing this for over a year now, and, and I don't want you to feel as if he's taking over your job. Come on, you gotta learn how to socialize, my man. Okay? I mean, we need you, Simon. It'll be, it'll be fun. Plus, who knows? Maybe you'll make a new buddy. Right? No? Okay. All right. Well, he'll be in tomorrow afternoon, okay? And I was gonna go grab some lunch. I was thinking of stopping by your favorite place, Shawarma Mania. You want me to grab your chicken shawarma? Yes, sir. All right, I'll get you that. Hello? Hi, yeah. No, I just got on the bus now. Yeah. I'm just waiting until I get home so we can cook something. I don't know, I'll pick something up from the store. You have to go to the doctor soon again, Jessica. I mean, you haven't had an appetite in a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. But I'm just worried about you, okay? I'll be home soon. Love you. Bye. Just reading, waiting for you. Why is your cast off? I'm so itchy. I told you to stay put until I got home. And I cut for you. You know. You didn't like your coffee? No, I just, I woke up really late today, so by the time I got downstairs, it was cold. You have to recover still, right? I still need to make that appointment with Dr. Terry. Oh, he's gone for like the whole month. Dr. Terry said if anything was wrong, we could call Dr. Stanley. I really don't think there is anything wrong. I'm feeling better. I promise. Plus, I'm just, I'm way more comfortable with Dr. Terry, so I'd rather wait. Why is that? Well, nothing against Dr. Stanley, but Dr. Terry is pretty nice to look at. <laughs> Jesse. Yeah. There's a new trainee coming into work tomorrow. And, uh, I'm gonna have to train him. Uh oh. How do you feel about that, Simon? It's 
could be a good opportunity for you to make a new friend. I don't need new friends. I know you don't need new friends, but sometimes it's just nice to talk to people and get to know them. Relax, you'll be fine. One piece of your type. Simon, meet Barry. Nice to meet you, Simon. Name's Barry, Barry James. Simon, Simon. <laughs> so Barry, Simon's been working here for three years now. A lot of guys have come and gone, but Simon has stuck around. If you have any questions about any of your duties, Simon can definitely guide you. Sound good? Yep. Good. Oh, uh, before we start, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. Barry, what would you like? Sir, if you don't mind, I know this place called Charmania. Pretty close to here. You have the best chicken shawarma. Look at that. That's Simon's favorite place as well. My man. Hey, have you tried the new appetizers? Those grilled kebab sandwiches? You have to try them. Ronnie, if you don't mind, can I get two of those? One for myself, one for Simon? Come on, man. Hey, I'm new here. I want to kiss up to senior staff, right? <laughs> see, there you go, Simon. It's good to see you guys getting along already. All right. I'll All be right. back with the food. Simon, hurry, you're missing it. I'm coming. Oh. Thanks. Didn't you just say you didn't want food? I said I didn't want a whole meal. I never said I didn't want any of yours. Okay. No. <laughs> Thank Who's texting you at this hour? It's uh, the new trainee, Barry. He just came in today, so. Oh my God, Simon, I totally forgot. How was it? Ooh, sorry, <laughs> were you nervous? Yeah, no, I uh, I was at first. I just, he's a nice guy, so. Seems like you guys are really hitting it off. Yeah, yeah, he even bought me these little sh shawarma wraps from Shawarmania today. Stop. You love place. that place too. Yeah, I do. <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, he even uh, offered me a ride home today. I was gonna take the bus, but he was persistent about it. So, Simon, I think you finally made a new friend. <laughs> mm. I'm not saying be his best friend or anything though. You can socialize. I'll allow it, but you gotta make time for me though. I will. <laughs> okay. I love you. I love you too. Oh, okay. I really don't know that. Simon. 
time. What are your plans for V Day? No, not much. I'm, uh, I think me and Jessica are just gonna stay and cook something good. How about a double day? Uh, uh, All right, perfect. So, be there around eight. Give me my pen back. I feel like I don't look good right now. I can't do that, okay? They're already on their way. I told you to get really earlier. Well, why did you invite them on Valentine's Day? You didn't even ask me. I know I didn't, okay? But what was I supposed to do? They really wanted to come over. Okay. Listen, we haven't had guests a really long time, okay? I'm not complaining. I'm just saying you should have at least talked to me before inviting them over. What are you doing? That's for the guests. What is wrong with you? What are you being so rude? I'm not being rude, okay? I'm just... You, stop fooling around. You gotta be serious for just once. Oh, why do I have to be serious, Simon? This is supposed to be a fun night. It's Valentine's Day. Clearly it's not our Valentine's Day. Okay, I'm trying, okay? Just stop complaining. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you like that, okay? Whatever, Simon, just get the door. Hey, Bruce. How's it going? Um, hey, Simon, is this a bad time? No, 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 no. Come on in. Come on in. Dinner's almost ready. I'm just putting it all together. All right, guys, come in. Come in, sit down. Have a seat. Guys, this is my uh, beautiful wife, Jessica. Jessica, this is, this is Barry. Um, Martina. Take a seat. Take a seat. Come on. I just cooked all this now, so it's, it's, it's still hot. So just help yourselves, help yourselves. You want some wine? Honey? What's wrong? Why aren't you eating? You want me to help you or? I can fix my own plate, Simon. Simon, is everything okay? Everything's fine, Barry, okay? Everything's just fine. Here, have some wine. I already had a couple glasses myself, so. Yeah. Thank you. That, that's no, enough. No, that's enough. Right. Yeah, yeah. Probably have to get more. Yeah. Where, where are you guys going? Well, Martina's mom called. I need to take her home. It was really nice meeting you, Simon. Um, sorry to rush out like this. Okay, yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you at the office party, right? Yeah, I guess I will. See you tomorrow, buddy. All right. Sorry that we're running out like this. Oh, it's okay. I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good night. I'm going to bed. Possible just transfer to a different department within the company. You don't like your position? Did anything happen? Is there an issue with Simon? I don't. I don't personally have an issue with him. 
I just think he needs help. What happened? I went over to his house with my girlfriend. It was a double date thing with his wife. Before knocking on the door, we hear Simon arguing out loud inside and he starts introducing us. to his imaginary wife. He was serving us food and drinks, getting really upset, talking to himself. I should have said something before. See, Barry, the thing is, Simon's wife died in a car accident a year ago, and he's been really affected by it. Ever since he's come back to work, he's been a little off, but he still gets the job done. Now, I thought he was taking his meds regularly. He was far worse than this before. But sir, I don't think he should be working here. He shouldn't be working under okay, his condition. Okay, but listen, Jerry, I don't have a guy with Simon's experience. Plus, he can handle huge tasks on, a, on his own. He doesn't mind staying late sir. hours. Okay, all right, listen. Just give me a few weeks and I'll figure out what I can do with Simon, okay? I just can't risk not having a senior qualified candidate for Simon's position right now. Let's just keep this between us and I'll deal with it. Your probational period with the company ends soon, right? Yes. Well, let's just keep quiet about this and I'll make sure that you're more than satisfied. Maybe even a little raise. Thank you.